We've developed the butterfly dialogue and the flying butterfly part of our program. It's now time to program the cake. We start with the green flag. The cake will initially have the lit costume. And when we detect that there was a blow into the microphone, that is, a loud sound, we'll switch costume. For this, we'll use a wait until block. The wait until block pauses the execution of the script until the specified condition becomes true. Once the condition is satisfied, the script execution is resumed, which means that the code following the wait until block starts execution. Note that the condition within a wait until block is of Boolean type, just like the condition in an if then block or a repeat until block. The condition in our case is that there is a loud sound. In other words, that loudness is above a certain value, say 50. So we'll introduce a greater than block from the operator's palette and complete this condition so that it says loudness greater than 50. In case you don't have access to a microphone, you can modify the condition, for example to make the cake wait until some key is pressed. Once this condition is satisfied, the cake will switch costume. Remember that when working online in Scratch, you'll be asked to authorize access to both the camera and the microphone. In the offline version, you won't be asked for this authorization. You can complete the animation with a backdrop from the library. Let's try it out. Brilliant! We now have our own birthday card. I have a question. Couldn't we just use an if-then block for a cake instead of the wait-until block? This is an excellent question, Cody. The truth is that it wouldn't work. Can you tell why? A cake program that looks like this would instruct the cake to check the loudness condition as soon as it switches to the lid costume, at the very beginning of the program execution. So, if you try to blow after you had the chat with a butterfly, say, after 10 seconds, you would have missed your chance. I see. Thanks for clarifying this. You're welcome, Cody. And thanks very much for asking this question. It is very useful to think of alternative ways to implement our programs. Before extending our program to include additional elements, let's have a think about the user interaction in our program. The butterfly asks the user his or her age, the user enters it, and then the butterfly uses this answer, for example, to say it. However, there is nothing preventing the user from entering an invalid answer, such as RAT, or the string here that doesn't make sense at all. Right now, we'll not attempt to prevent or control this kind of behaviours, but we'll keep it in mind for the future. In the next video, we'll enrich our birthday card further.